Hey guys, good afternoon. Glad you could join me. So well, today we're gonna go over some Muay Thai techniques. We're gonna go over punch, kick, knee, and elbow. This is the basic stuff. We're gonna use these lines, step in, step back, for each of the um, four different strikes. All right, so just as a bit of a warm up to start with. Okay, so let's just, just, just do a bit of jogging on the spot and punching out. Cuts. And some hooks. A bit hard to do that footwork there, but just, just to turn your feet a little bit. Alright, get your stance. Do some blocks. Great body position. Just warm up. Start taking those blocks a little bit more dynamically, right? And now it's just a knee up to your chest. Keep your guard up and do it. I'll give you a side on look. My knee and my chest become one. You see? So I want you to be on the back. So knee up, knee up. See, each time, look at my foot. My foot's nearly in position to throw a push kick to the face. All right, that's gonna, now the, you might not be able to get there yet, but if you keep doing this, Right, you slowly decrease this angle and you'll hit there. You'll push kicks and you're going to go flying over people's heads if you can get that angle up. So let's go for another 30 seconds of that. Okay, shake that out. All right. So, let's go over position, stance, find your stance. I'm going to use this train track for my left leg. Candice is going to use it for her right leg. And you'll see that there's two separate lines. And you guard up. And then we're going to just go through movement forward and movement back. And movement to the right, so that way. So Candice has actually gone onto the train tracks there. And then movement to your left. All right, we're not gonna need much more um, angles or movements than that for what we're about to do. So with the jab, we do, what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice everything one minute shadow. Right, one minute jab shadow, one minute cross shadow. One minute left elbow shadow, one minute right elbow shadow, one minute left kick shadow, one minute right kick shadow. Right? And when we've done that, then we're going to put them onto the pads. Okay? So, let's go for the, for the first technique. The first technique that we're going to do, we're going to go through, is the jab. So, I'm going to show you two, two different angles, right? You're going to see front angle. Jab. Do it with me. Jab, right foot stays still, right arm stays still, elbows in, jab, 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 that's it, keep going, come on, we've got 30 seconds to go, hand go out and come straight back. Straight back. Don't let it drift, drop, 
move out, whatever, then come back, come straight back. See, I come back onto the train tracks. Both feet got to work here. You're going to run a for a sweep. You throw punches like that. The inside leg kicks, outside leg kicks, whatever. All right. So now, we're going to go hands, then kicks, then elbows and knees, so kicks. So, we're going to do body kicks today. So we're going to do the left one first. We're going to walk up. Watch, I'm going to walk up and angle off the train tracks and kick through the sound. And again, walk, angle up, off the train tracks and then kick through the sound. Don't walk down the train tracks, you get punched in the head. We want to angle across, get some power and momentum as well and then drive. Try and spin that foot as you go all the way through that kick. And back into position. Okay, now one minute into the right kick. Step off the train track and kick through the centre. And again, step off the train tracks and through the centre. And when you throw your kick and your foot twists, Drive your arm down, that'll help your balance and your power. And that's happening simultaneously, like they're a scissor. So I step out. You see what I'm talking about with the scissor? I'll come straight at you on the camera. Watch. And this arm driving down and out like that to help balance me up. So I throw that kick through there. So we're still going with that right body kick, step off, turn through. Step off, turn through. And even though this isn't meant to be any sort of fitness, it still does work that just a little bit. So we've done the punches and we've done the kicks, now we're going into the elbows. The elbow strike we're gonna do is the crossing elbows today. So we're gonna step off the train track a little bit, angle our foot in the direction we want the power to go. Pop. You see? Bang. Step. Bang. A little pivot. Sort of like a hook. And then go flat, straight through. So you can see I'm stepping off the train track slightly. Not stepping down the train track. And as I do that, I see how I point that in. Ever so light, slightly as well. And then, bang. With the finishing of the elbow. Bang. But, you see, but, and the arm coming in the guard there, not around it, in it, now twist. And then the right elbow, very similar, we will step, step straight, bam, very similar to the cross, you see that? But, so when I threw the cross, I went step, step. Same with the elbow, except I'd be in a closer range. Very similar technique. And again, the hand coming in here. And twist from your body here. And some from there. And some from there. Full power shot all the way from the floor. Chain reactions like dominoes from the floor up, bam, into your hip, bam, into your waist, bam, into your shoulder, pop, all that power, bang, straight on the jaw. Slightly off. All right, the knees, the walk up knee. So, the walk up knee going to be very similar to the walk up kick except I don't want to put my toes out like that. I'm going to leave my toes facing straight because that's where my power is going to go, right? But 
I'm off my train track slightly because when I knee, I want to bring my hip down the centre line. So when I knee, my knee's down the centre line, I'm back in the stands. Step under my toes, off the train track. See that? And then here it comes. Bang, and then straight back. Watch from side on. So we're going like this. And step, up. Ready to pump the hip, pump, and back onto my chain traps, you see? Pump your arm on the same side like you do with a kick, but in a downward direction. So again, walk up, bang, and back in the stance. You keep your guard up on the side that's, that's stationary. Base side and other side fires. Now into the right knee. Again, just reverse everything. Don't step straight down the train track, step off them, but point your toes forward, not angular out like you did the kick. On your train tracks, guard up, body position. Step off the train track, onto your toes. Ready now to throw that back hip up. Bam, and then back into stance. Back together, watch from side on. Power is gonna come from the base legs. Calf, hammy, and bump. How far my knee goes out there is. He's got bruised the long knee. All right, step slightly off. Bang, long knee. All right, that completes all of the shadow sparring drills that we're gonna do. When you wanna go back over that, go back, pull that video up, rewind it, go back through that again. Do it over and over again. The more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna get with it. Okay, now we're gonna do some pad drills. All right, I'm gonna keep using these lines. Back and forth, sometimes you'll see um, candies from behind, sometimes you'll see it from the side, sometimes you'll see it front on. All right, I'm gonna keep trying to get it to move around so you can see in relationship to the lines where our foot is going and what the footwork is. All right, so to be able to accommodate everything that we're gonna do, we're gonna to need to get some tie pads on. All right? You can do these drills without having the tie pads on, but these are gonna work a lot better with the tie pads, okay? You could simulate the knees with the, with the, with the uh, belly pad, you know, the pad, red kick pad, put it across your tummy. Or, you know, um, for the kicks, hold the kick pad up higher, but we want to use the five pads. So I'm just waiting for Candace to glove herself up for the next few, um, few minutes of training. So again, we're going to go through those eight strikes. Jab, cross, left cross, elbow, right cross, elbow, Left round kick, right round kick, left knee, right knee, and one minute apiece. All right, so, so we're just starting with the jab. So we'll get Candice on the train tracks facing me, and stepping in for the jab with just the jab foot. That's it, perfect. Hand coming straight back to the face, right hand staying up every time. So I slowly rotate her around to stay down the train tracks, and now to throw the jab from behind. That's it. And then stepping off the train tracks from the opposite side, that's it. When you time that foot, at the same time land as the punch, power generates nicely through there. Good punch. All right, now we're gonna focus on the cross. So, we'll just go back to the starting position, which is that side on, left foot on the front line, right foot on that back line. Step your left foot, nothing happens. Right foot, twist, punch. And then back onto the train tracks. That's it, good. 
So as the back foot steps, you want to be throwing that punch rather than step it and then punch. Try and get that motion forward straight away. As soon as that right foot comes up, then the punch is right, right in there straight away. Good punch. And then turning that back foot gives you a bit more extra reach. All right, now we're gonna do the walk up kick. Okay, so Candice is on the line, front foot, forward line, back foot. Walks the right foot up to throw the left body kick. And wants to go straight back to those train tracks with one move, swiftly, rather than two or three. So one step kick and then back straight away. That's it, good. That's it. So now when you watch from behind, you'll see that the right foot, that steps off the train track line. Yeah, you see, off the train track line, foot angling across, and then back in the stance. So it's important that foot doesn't come straight down the train tracks. You would get punched in the head as you throw that technique. All right, now going in with the right body kick. So again, same position. All right, and step out off the train tracks, angle of footwork, and then back into position. step out. Alright, you'll see it on this one here. You want to get that left foot off that train track line. That's better, yeah. And then that right foot going straight back onto it. That's it. You do this enough times, guys, it just becomes like muscle memory. But that does take time for that to happen. Step straight down the line then. Just sort of step off that line. Get your step down, step off it. Time it. That's it. All right, now the left elbow. So we're in position. Let's go down to the start position again. Left foot forward, right foot behind. Left foot forward, right foot behind on the train tracks. Step in with one foot. Point your toes towards the power direction and throw the elbow. So the right foot, that stays still this time. And stay on your ball of your foot. Don't let your weight go on your heel. I just watched Candice let her weight go on her heel and she lost her balance. I could have easily pushed her over. That's it. So I keep my weight. Even look when I'm holding pads. Let me change the angles. Look at my back foot. You see my back foot always up. That's pushing me forwards, getting keep my balance. So don't step forward with that one. If we watch Candice again, she steps off that train track to make that left elbow work. That's it. Spot on. And now the right one. You've got to angle across slightly and throw the right um, elbow. Lost the balance. So Candice lost the balance then by bringing her back foot too far up, being too square and too close to me. So you're getting too square. You need to make sure that you keep your feet in a, a wider part, yeah? So what you're, so what was happening, Candice is stepping a little bit with her left foot, a lot with her front foot, and becoming square. So she's got to go a little bit, a little bit, or a lot, and a lot. That's better. Does that make sense, guys? You can't step a little bit with one and a lot with the other and expect your balance to be maintained. You'll see that from this angle now. So whenever she steps with one, the other one has to do the exact amount. All right, and now we're gonna work the knees. So coming back to start position, left foot on the front arm line, back foot on the back line. 
You're going to walk your right foot up. On your toes, throw the knee. No. You're going to walk your right foot up. So this is called a walk up, kick, uh, walk up knee. And then you want to go straight back to those lines again. So it's sort of like this. Don't just fall forward when you finish it. That's it. That's what you want. Sorry. <laughs> so, say sorry to them, not me. Sorry. Just look at your start position part as well. Yeah, make sure. That's important, guys. You're just neglecting to start your start position properly, and that's going to make it hard. And then now down the right knee. I reckon knees are one of the hardest things to throw. People think they can do it, but they actually can't. Step. Step straight onto the ball of your foot when you do it. You've got to step straight down the line, step straight off the line a little bit. So your hip goes down the centre. Remember I said that before? Sorry. Alright. And then we've got, I've got still got two minutes left on the clock there. So what we might do is put together a bit of a combination now. So what we might do is put together the, let's say, the jab, cross, Walk up, kick. All right, so Candice is gonna be on those lines. She's gonna step, jab, then step, cross. And then walk up, kick. And then go back to position. Step, jab, step, cross. Walk up, kick. All right, and again. Let's put it together, pop, pop, pop. You gotta step, you didn't step. You just see how Candace went, ooh, and she couldn't hit the pad, it's because she didn't have any footwork. Okay? This could be come down to you do fitness drills and you stay in, you do this, right? Do me a one, two, how you do in a fitness class. See this, guys? This is not helping your Muay Thai at all. What should you do? You should do this. Get on those there. Move in, one, two, move back. Should be like this every time. You should never, what I call just hang in the pocket and then just punch here like this. Unless I call punch out. Punch out! And time. That's a different story. So you see what I'm talking about? You've got to con really concentrate on your footwork and you can create some really bad habits. And you probably have got some bad habits from trying to do it just to get fitness without focusing on the techniques is going to create bad habits. Dropping your guard. If you throw a hundred incorrect techniques but then do a technique session and throw 50 good ones, where do you think that spot of muscle memory is going to be? It's going to be in the, the hundred bad ones. So if we can make it, so every time that you practice, that you're always focusing on your technique, your footwork, returning your hands, body position, stance, guard, body position, stance, guard. I can't emphasize it enough. You'll be able to do so much more and we'll be able to build really, really kick-ass combinations. But without that, it's gonna be so difficult because there is no body position, no structure, and no balance in what you're doing. All right, so I'm gonna leave you with that. We're gonna just gonna work on the pads just a little bit more. All right, we're gonna now go jab, cross, left elbow crossing, right knee. So we've put together the punch, the knee, and the elbow. Okay, let's have a look. So we go. One, two, elbow, knee. You see, I 
I gave a bit of space, but I didn't give any space off of that after the punch to the elbow. Candice has to make it up. Watch again. So she goes in jab cross, in elbow, in knee, back to stance. And again, and you're back to where you started from. In one, two, in for the elbow, in for the knee, boom, and back to stance. And if you need to, do it in two goes like that. And again. And the right kick to finish. Yeah. And we put all of them together. Let's, let's finish off with that. Two minutes of that, guys. So we move in, one, two. Move in, elbow. Move in, knee. The knee drove you back. Body kick. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Change angle. Good. And again, one, two, elbow, knee, drive me back, shuffle, shuffle, angle. Uh, angle change, left foot, right foot, don't just pivot behind yourself. Shuffle, shuffle, angle change. Uh, angle change, like this, Candice, angle change. Because you're just going like this. Shuffle, shuffle, angle change. We need to step. Okay, again. One, two, elbow, knee, kick, two shuffles, angle change. Angle change, angle change. Yeah, see, oh, what I was trying to simulate then was coming at her and I was wanting to, to move so she didn't stay in front of me. Let's try it again. One more. This will be the last one, guys. One, two, elbow, knee, shuffle. I start coming at her, she angle changes. Yeah, like that. All right. Okay, let's do 10 kicks in a row left side, 10 kicks in a row right side, 10 one twos, 10 push ups, and we're done for tonight. Okay, ready? Let's go. Body position, guard up, stands, 10. Body position, guard up, square up now because we're doing punch out, and go. training. I'll see you soon. Good night.